I am Sherwin from the Diocese of Chikmagalur and I will be countering the motion of the given topic. So, From time immemorial, education has been woven in our caste system where the upper caste of scholars enjoyed the privilege of formal education. But the advent of modern education which was established by the British imperial rule eradicated this Vedic system but it was nevertheless flawed in providing a universal form of education. So, our founding fathers proposed a system called reservation to curb this inequality. Since then, India has emerged as a global superpower with established premier institutes for its most valuable assets that is us, the human resource. But still, we have failed to completely deliver and dominate globally. Why is this so? So, the basic elementary education system, which has the aim of education for all, as said in the 2009 Act, has made exponential progress in increasing the literacy of India. It has, however, not totally delivered. India is mainly a rural demographic and has substandard quality of schools, be it the infrastructure or the education itself. The problem of child labor which forces students to quit schools prematurely, most of them due to obligations of providing to the family. Teachers in many schools are underpaid, not given incentives and are very overburdened. Hence the expertise and experience of good teachers is lacking in India. Corruption is a social cancer spreading into the education system right from the grassroots level. The curriculum is almost never up to date to the required current standards. So all these problems get worse as we climb up the ladder, especially when it comes to universities, especially uh, the cost of formal education is out of reach of most Indians and it almost always empties their pockets. Giving an example, the medical education alone, the disparity between the number of students trying to get through and the number of seats available is bizarre. Statistically speaking, every year a meagre 6% of students are eligible for an undergraduate seat in comparison to 70% in the US and 60% in the UK. And these are official statistics from the respective government websites and not my cooked up statistics. This puts enormous burden on the mental health of the students. Depression is thought of as a phase or something which is in your head rather than a condition which requires active intervention. Hence the ever increasing rates of suicides which we see every day in the news, especially during the so-called exam season. Reservations which are mostly for the good are essential for the upliftment of the persecuted. But in some ways they are being exploited, be it in the creamy layer where the economically abundant get priority or in reservations which are planned for postdoctoral degrees for the creme de la creme. India has seen the highest rates of emigration owing to all these factors. Those who stay back in India to serve the people, to make an impact are thrashed with problems like unemployment, racism, poor work ethics, so on and so forth. As said in a popular Bollywood movie, Koi desh perfect nahi hota, usse perfect banana padta hai. Which means no nation is perfect, you have to make it perfect. The only thing which is constant is change. So we the citizens of this great nation are obliged to make this change. Maybe starting from the elementary level, small changes can bring about a ripple effect or a butterfly effect. For a start we could all agree to not give someone 500 rupees of bribe the next time or sponsor a child's education or be a part of some social organization. As said by Nelson Mandela, education is the most powerful weapon which can bring about change in a nation. So let us be that change and let us bring change in our education system so that education changes our nation for the good. Thank you.